kayak um, Stuart Paul, right? So, um, it's my first ever talk, so I think I'll go and ask for some socks. <laughs> and uh, right, so I'm a software dev for Newcastle Bone Society. I've uh, been working there for a long time. Um, I do front end stuff and back end stuff, and I'm like I seem to be the only guy who can do front end quite well at our place. So. Anyway, so I'm advocating standards, accessibility, and all that sort of stuff. I'm also a scout leader for uh, Fourth Model Scouts, um, sort of teaching skid, kids um, skills for life, um, go to camps, build stuff with ropes and tents and all sorts of things. I've been doing that for about five years, and the when I was at the group, they were like, our website is pants, so build us a website. So I thought, I'll give it a go. I like building websites. I needed a personal project, so off I went. So I built this, which is for the Patriot Scouts, which is the group I'm part of. And then I built this, which looks slightly better, but still lots of stuff on that. And then I built this one, and I thought this one's quite good. And um, quite liked it, it was responsive, and um, people who saw it liked it. And then I thought, that's good, let's um, ask the GSL, who's the big boss of our group, thought, and he thought, says, Pegswood has to be part of the fourth North Earth. So basically, that's no good. It's a satellite site, he wanted to be part of the same group. He didn't want to manage the content. He said, there's too much content on there, most of it's irrelevant, and he doesn't want to keep up to date and um, have people pest him to upload things and things like that. Because he's a tech guy, but he works for VA or something like that, and he hasn't got time after doing all the other things I have to do. So I went back to Drawbot and thought, right, what do they really want? So I had a look at their current site, which looks like this. Um, lots of content on their site at the moment, which is why I did this the same. But it hasn't been updated since 2014. Um, the group's grown massively. The extension for the HQ that we're promoting on there has already been built and well used. It doesn't promote their current initiatives. Um, it's not responsive, it's got a self installed WordPress thing which it has to maintain, and it's the old brand as well. And then they got hacked. So, this is the kind of the content that started appearing on the website. <laughs> so, that'll, that'll be a well lesson to you. Self installed WordPress, keep it up to date, keep your plugins up to date, even your Twitter one because it leaks into Twitter as well. Uh, but fortunately, nobody noticed, apart from me, because nobody was looking at the site, because it wasn't helpful. And so, I pestered him, he took it down, and then we put his folding page up. And then I went back to drone board, so I thought, right, what do they really want? Because the thing is with self, your own projects, and things you might do as a favour for somebody, you kind of just chuck something together, and you hope for the best. It might say it looks pretty, it might look rubbish, but generally they don't go anywhere. Um, so I had a look at what the group does, first of all, so in scouts, the section is like your beavers, your cubs, your scouts, and they've got 12 of them, they've got four of each, four beavers, uh, 250 kids, 35 volunteers like me, and they're growing. And what they wanted is they need to promote more volunteers and things like that. So uh, some of you may have heard personas, something I've learned about in the past sort of 18 months, getting into sort of more ux -y stuff. And um, I found I didn't like them, personas themselves, they do focus too much on people's emotions and things like that. And I thought they were too marketing. And I did a bit of research and I thought, well, I've come across archetypes. So that would describe the behaviours of people, what they do and what they don't do. And I've used them in projects at work, which I found really useful. So they this. So in the building side, you've got lots of different customers, different types of customers. So that would describe I'd describe like what makes the <coughs> customer, what do they do? And it was when we were building stuff with staff, or had different grades of staff, the different roles. And we could say, right, this member of staff does this. So you'd say that the low-level staff that have a big list of tasks that they do, and that's things that we need to consider roles and responsibilities for. And you have another one which have fewer responsibilities. Then you have a manager which had three roles and responsibilities. But anyway, 
we found them quite useful and they helped develop the system. So I've applied the same thing to this project. We've got the group scout leader. So he's the, the big guy, he oversees everything. He's a very busy man. He doesn't want to maintain a website. So what he wants is something low risk, so not going to get hacked again. Content should be simple to update. Um, and it should be relevant and not have loads of stuff, which is just waffle and things that really nobody cares about. And it's got to be of a modern design and attractive. They've got section leaders like me. So I send emails to parents and say, this event's coming up, this camp's coming up, you need this stuff. I don't want to have to go to the website and post it from there. Because if I do an update, somebody might have to approve it or somebody's got to upload it. So it's just overhead that I don't want. Um, and I'll send them in, put a message on Facebook, Facebook. So if it's a camp, then we'll put it on Facebook because we've got pictures of kids on there. We don't want them in the general public without their permission. We've got various kids who can't be in the public domain. So we have to be very careful what we do. So we can't just post it to a public website. So again, we're not going to use the website. Parents, they'll come and pester me if they want something. Uh, they wouldn't go to the website. Uh, my wife, she's never been to the website. I've never been to the website apart from the look at it for this reason. And I'm happy to get regular updates from leaders. And then you've got the potential new members or volunteers. So that's probably the main target audience of the site. They want to know what the groups are, what sections are on when, what time these are on, where they need to go, who they need to get in touch with. Um, and potentially, one which I haven't included on here is the press. So we've got some initiatives coming up to uh, build a, another extension on the HQ, which will be probably drop this link in and then we'll have some information on the website. But we don't want that buried in somewhere. We'll want that quite prominent. And then you've got the Scout Association themselves. So they oversee the whole Scout movement in the UK on all the groups and they have a brand, they have a vision. And at the moment, they're promoting skills for life, which is we're going to give kids the skills that they need for life to grow and uh, be good members of society and be good workers. And this was a big rebrand last year. And it's very important that we have this brand and it's get it really well embedded and must be inclusive. So it's got to work on a range of devices. It's going to meet... WCAG level double A. So I went away, put them together mark types, and then I had this proposal and I thought, right, right, this is what we're going to do. So I went with the static HTML site. So it's something anybody can maintain. You don't need a login. You don't need to go through the approval process. Um, we're going to have it source controlled in GitHub, which means somebody, anybody can go to that and they can make the updates as long as they've got permission to do so. So we can give that to several leaders, myself, the GSL, and a couple of others. Somebody with a basic knowledge of HTML can update it. And we'll have, you don't need to maintain the content management system. You're not going to get your WordPress hacked and all that sort of stuff. So there's a lot less moving parts to be maintained for that. And it will help the group have a good presence and not have to worry about this risk. You've got the brand. so. There's the branding guidelines there. And it, we just needed to integrate and make sure that everything matches. So the uniform's going to change, the literature, that the, the paper literature, the brand on the HQ is going to match this brand. So everything needs to tie together. So the site, I distilled all the content down to what was important, what the group does, where and what. So the size of it and things like that. Then what the sections are, what people, like what age groups they're going to be for, where people meet, and what you can do with volunteering. So as a volunteer myself, I've got a lot out of this five years ago without having to teach kids to do things every week. I probably wouldn't be standing here because I've developed the confidence over the past few years. I'm a bit of an introvert. So since doing it, I've run workshops at work, I've done talk, I've, this is my first talk, I've got the confidence to do that. So that's the kind of thing that we're promoting from volunteers. It's not just, you're going to be looking after a few kids, you've got to actually develop skills yourself and you're going to give, help the kids develop skills. So I found that quite useful. And then you have the contact information. 
So this is the website I put together. So we've got the new brand. It's responsive and it's got accessible markup. Just quickly show you the site. So I'm going to do a quick demo. There we go. So this is the website I've cooked up. Um, no, it's not, man. There we go. Right. So it's got what I set out to do. Simple site. What we do. The sections. So we've got four sec um, four three sections and four meetings per section. So we've got the information about when they are. We've got four a week for Cubs, four a week for Scouts, four a week for Beavers. We've got two locations, so you've got quite a lot of information that needs to be mentioned there, and spaces. Um, we're quite full, but it's quite important to convey how long you may be waiting for a child to have a space or how unlikely it is as well. We'll promote the other groups in the area because they may have spaces got the volunteering section so what you can do how you can get in touch and then you've got the contact information um, so and it's also there we go so it's also a responsive single page website which works quite well on mobile as well so it's getting that inclusive thing in there and it's using html5 which i thought was quite important so it's got it's broken into sections and i'm used up as much semantic markup as i can to help people back to here the switching bit never works well does it Right. So what next? So next steps are to review the work, the content of the site, to promote the kind of volunteers that we need. We're going to add a section in for raising money for the H HQ. So we want to build a big two-story thing on the building to store all the equipment that we have for such a big group. And I thought this is a good. Uh, this is quite good. I think other groups could use this. Other groups could build their websites from similar to mine. So I've just proposed a design system. So getting all the components that I've put together and that allowing web, uh, other groups to download the HTML, the CSS that's been put together and to create their own website with their own information on using the components that I've got. And the advantage of that is they could use it with a digital maker badge, so scouts can earn a badge to say, right, I, you can build stuff with HTML or PowerPoint or build a website and things like that, or use Raspberry Pis and all sorts. And that's one of the, the good skills that they're pushing. So they could download this, they could build their own website as a group and then put that live using this framework and it gives them a good introduction because they've got something solid there to, to put together. Um, so I've put it on GitHub. I've um, it's partly inspired by the GovUK thing. I'm hoping to, it's not going to be as big or as good as that, but it's, it's something that can be used. And I've named it Pioneer. So if you're not a scout, pioneering is building stuff with rope and poles, which is a lot of fun. I build bridges, catapults, and all sorts of structures. That's a lot of fun. So that's why I've taken the name from for that. Um, So this is what you would download from GitHub is your starting point and it features everything that you need to do. It tells you how you can get the logo in. So you go to the brand center, you get your logo. And I would hoping to expand this documentation to have 
explain how you use the components, what markup you need to do, what you need to change, and get some other information. Like they've got other sections that will go on there. And just to give the groups the, that ability to make their own websites. I've got another group, of a Newcastle group, who's interested in that. And I think one of the other Morpeth groups is interested in that. So hopefully more groups will start using that. If they've got skilled people, then they can contribute. Because generally, if they're going to have a site, they either got to have somebody volunteer or they can, they can pay somebody to do it. There is agencies out there who will build it, but that probably costs a lot of money. So this means they can get their presence done, meeting the new brand uh, quite quickly and relatively easily. Um, and that's it from me. Yes, and it all worked. Thank you.